Uh, right now, we want to continue with our inspirational segment. And Joe's been on the show s several times, but this is his first time in his hometown of Oceanside. So let's give it up for Joe Satriano and his inspirational segment. Thank you, Howie. Thank you very much. You know, I got to give you a lot of credit for your radio program. Uh, <laughs> because, number one, where did you ever think that you would be able to do a play-by-play -play of a laser foot being done <laughs> on the radio? And I thought I saw it all when we were doing a play-by-play -play washing the dogs. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, that, that beat all. I, I loved it. Never and, a dull moment on Halftime Howie. No. <laughs> Um, and of course, uh, you know, I'm, I'm honored to be here at this office, Dr. Dr. Lee Weiner, you know, a chiropractor. I'm sure he's going to straighten things out for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Tough right. crowd, Jim. I know. It's very, <laughs> apparently, the microphone is not working once again. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, my story basically is, and I've been on the show so many times that uh, the, the regular listeners know already that, um, you know, I started a foundation. Um, Ten uh, uh, years after my wife passed away, the six months after my wife passed away, of a 13-year battle with breast cancer, and um, <clears throat> I it's this, named after her the Susan Satriano Foundation. I give out scholarships to high school seniors who unfortunately have a parent who's either passed away of cancer, presently battling, or in remission. This year alone, I'm helping. I helped 257 kids with scholarships for their college education. And in 10 years, I, I'm blessed to say that I have given out well over a half a million dollars in scholarships to over 900 kids across the nation. One of the wonderful, wonderful perks that happens is it's more than just here's a scholarship, but I actually go to each school. I ask each school to give me 15 to 20 minutes with each child. And basically what I do is I tell them my story and it, they open up like crazy. For many of them, it's the first time that they've ever mentioned anything to anybody about, about their cancer situation at home, dealing with their mother or their father. So I meet, I meet a, a nine, over 900 kids, and so many of them are so inspirational. I have a story tonight. Um, I'm gonna kind of get a little poetic here. You know, uh, they say that life began in the water and in the sea, and the water is so vital to everything uh, that we do. Uh, Dane, you would know that. You surf in it. Um, we cook with it. We clean with it. We drink it. Well, I met a girl by the name of Kendra three years ago. Uh, her mom was going through chemotherapy because the breast cancer had metastasized to her bones. Uh, she, Kendra happened to be on her school swim team, which placed second in, the, in her senior year in the counties, and largely due to Kendra's um, swimming ability. Uh, Kendra's parents saw that when uh, Kendra's mom was, was in hot, pulsating water, it actually alleviated some of the bone pain uh, from the cancer that had metastasized to her bone. They went ahead and, bought and purchased a hot tub. Uh, the temperature of the water, as well as the whirling, pulsating action of the water, gave her mom relief. Um, Getting in, uh, her into the tub to climb over that wall was a little bit difficult, according to Kendra, but once she was in the water, it was all worthwhile. So what did Kendra do? She decided that water is so important in, in her mom's life, uh, easing the pain, and also her life, being a, a, a swimmer, uh, it was a natural connection. What she did was um, she, in her senior year, organized a cancer cure swim meet. Uh, she rented a local swim uh, club's facilities. That's Kendra, by the way, right here uh, in that picture. Um, she called on uh, uh, solicited businesses at, for prizes and raffled off items. Uh, she called on friends and family and classmates and put together a swim team. And, and the competition was fun and it ended up raising over $5,000 for the American Cancer Society. This, this is a high school senior, folks. Let's not forget that, okay? Acting like, like, like an adult, doing amazing things, uh, just because of what she saw her life uh, at home was all about. So Kendra is now a junior at college and she's happily, happy to report that her mom is living to the fullest. Uh, she remains at stage four. It's quite a story of love and caring and doing something instead of just sitting back idly and uh, feeling grief and pity for yourself. 
Um, these are the types of kids that I meet uh, on a yearly basis. They are remarkable how they deal with the situation. Uh, they do not bury their heads in the, in the, under the covers. They actually go out and do something and make a difference in this world. And my heart goes out to them. Um, if I just may say, um, my book, In Sickness and in Health, a, a memoir of love, 100% uh, of that book's proceeds goes to the uh, foundation. I'm uh, happy to say that uh, uh, over mm, $17,000 since the book has been out. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's, uh, it's an inspirational book, uh, I've been told, and uh, it helps people get through their own tragedies. And also you're doing a mitzvah. Sue is Jewish, she taught me all those words. Uh, but by buying a book because 100% of that money goes right to the scholarships. So if you're looking to purchase a book, uh, go on www.susansatrianofoundation.com uh, or call me at 516-603-5520. Howie, thank you so much. I will see you next week. Great job, Joe. All right.